my body clock has decided over the last few days that I now wake up ridiculously early, like just after 5 a.m., 6 a.m. Today, I woke up before 5 a.m. Nevertheless, I'm not gonna let that deter the fact that this weekend is gonna be such a good weekend. Starting off with this morning, my boyfriend and I have actually both been invited to an event with Elizabeth Arden. So, obviously, I'm gonna take you guys along with me. I'm super excited. Elizabeth Arden, eight hour cream, like that is my jam. This is my song, turn it up. <laughs> also, do you like my pajamas? It's a cute little shorts and tank set from Monkey, but I got it on ASOS, so I'll link it down below. I'm excited for the day, I'm excited for the weekend, and I got a new hoover. It's cordless. <laughs> Alexa, stop. Okay, I'm an idiot. I completely confused the dates. There's no event this morning. That's gonna be on the 15th. So yeah, I fluffed that up completely. That's not happening. But I am still going to pick my mum up from the train station, which I'm so excited about. She's coming on her own today. It's been a little while since I've seen her. So yeah, I'm very excited. There's not really any kind of concrete plans, which is exciting the weather's quite nice today so i feel like we'll probably end up chilling going to town especially because it's thursday town's always busy but it's even more busy on the weekend so i feel like we should probably do something nice today Cute. I'm the most annoying toy possible for the most annoying dog possible. I've just been handed something from Valerie. Remember when I said my mum was crochet queen? Ah, oh, so cute! Thank you. I love the colour. It's literally perfect. Mm. You gotta make me a black one, a cream yeah, one. Yeah. <laughs> That's so cute! Guys, get this video to like 10,000 likes. I don't think that's even possible for me. And we'll get mum to start a shop. <laughs> <laughs> that is so sick! Thank you, mum. You're welcome. Oh, you little squeaky. So it's not the pink ball today that you're annoying everyone. It's the chicken. It's the chicken. <laughs> I have something for you. Something for me? What is it? Oh, Pandora! Pandora! Not for you! Not me! No! Oh! Oh, Mama! Oh my god! Oh! That's so romantic! Oh, thank you, Madonna! It's alright, it's all super! En plus, they perdent, on voulait tellement. Oh, c'est super joli! Oh <laughs> <laughs> but I need to clear it, but this is yours as well. Oh, super. I just clean it and take stuff? the stuff off of it. It's not an iPad, it's a laptop. It's a laptop, okay. Oh, it's super, it's right? Oh, it's genial. <laughs> This is a terrible angle with the worst possible lighting, so I don't know if I can actually make this any better. No, it's not happening. I apologize. It is now the evening. What time is it? I've just put the oven on to preheat, so I thought I'd catch you guys up real quick because we're gonna have mussels and chips for dinner tonight with a side of like greens. Yeah, it's been such a nice day. Picked up mom at like 2.30. It is now six hours later, it's 8.30 p.m. We dropped the bags off here and then we just went into town for a little bit, picked up some bits from m and so that we'd have something for dinner and that tonight. And then we popped into Zara. Actually, I'll show you. Right, I've got a confession. I don't really like shopping anymore. I don't know what's happened. I don't know if it's age. 
I kind of just don't really love what I see in store. I think it's all pretty generic. It's very rare for me to find something I really like or I love something and it's way too expensive. It'll be like in Selfridges or something. It'll be like a skirt for like 500 pounds. And I'm like, no. <laughs> but mum wanted to pop into Zara. So we went and I did find one thing. And this is the thing that I do. It's so hard for me to find something that I actually really like that when I do find it, I'll buy it in all the colors and I'll buy like multiples of it. So it just looks like I'm wearing the same thing all the time. But I guess it's not a bad thing. It means I don't really buy that much stuff anymore. I'll probably wear this over the next few days so you see what it looks like. But it's like... This knit but it's like almost ribbed so I got it in this khaki color I got this one in a medium and then of course I had to get it in black in a large I did try the medium but I prefer the black one in the large they're such nice quality they were $25.99 and I just feel like they're super versatile they look really cool and strangely enough the different colors make them kind of look like different tops so I was like I can justify this and yeah I think they'll be really great transitional pieces but not only that I think they'll be really great layering pieces for when it gets a bit colder because they're really like thin not in a bad quality way but just like lightweight so I'm excited about that I'm really happy because I just I haven't I just don't want to buy anything anymore. Oh my God. Also, I wore this out today and I legit lost it. We had to walk all the way back into town, went into Zara to like trouble all the staff to look through all of like the rail that they've picked up random bits from. It wasn't there. They like scoured the shop floor, wasn't there. I had to get up a picture of my Inst on my Instagram to show them this jumper. So yeah, we looked through Zara. We thought we'd check M&S because we did go in there first. And I went to the self checkout bit and she just grabbed the, la the other lady's attention. She was like, this girl's lost the jumper and then the other lady just bent down and picked it up and i was like yeah cool story bro mom's about to get out of the shower and i haven't even put the chips on which is just rude crinkle cut chips baby very excited i always make two mini chips later and just like that we are in bed ready to go to sleep for the night i will catch you up a bit on the movie i watched and like my thoughts and stuff in the morning it's been such a nice day i'm ready to have a good sleep and hopefully wake up at a decent time and like nice and fresh tomorrow morning but for now it is good night from me blocking you we're going shopping yeah after my whole spiel yesterday but we're going vintage shopping i'm taking mum to all yeah, the vintage no. stores vintage in manchester obviously. so it should be fun hopefully we find some good finds i'm really hoping i just get lazy looking for all the stuff but we're going early to try and catch, catch. it when it's empty so and the best deal obviously wish us luck see you later see you later Mwah. <laughs> <laughs> what? I thought, oh, I've just dropped my sunglasses. I thought I'd show you guys my outfit real quick. Oh, my battery's gonna die. Um, All my jewelry on my neck and my ears are Pandora. My top is Urban Outfitters. My bottoms are Jaded London. New rock boots and then I got a black cord tote bag from Amazon and these sunglasses, which I think are too big for me, which never happens because I've got a big head, but yeah, that's the look.
Hello. Howdy. I'm just standing in the little bit of sun we get in this flat. It's great. I don't know if our shopping day was that successful, what would you say? Not mm. really. However, we were out for quite a few hours and when we got back we were knackered. We just sat here for ages doing nothing. Then we called my granddad and we just got back off a dog walk now. But I thought I would show you the things that I did get. You can show your top as well, mama. And also we got a toy for Bronson, of course. Are you gonna do a try on haul? A little uh, pull marinière. Is that? That's not even how you say it. Pull marin. Little stripy Rouge. top. Usually those vintage shops that we went to are so good, but I think it's just the time of year. They didn't really have no, not much. much. I mean, for the season start, that we're going into and I think a lot of people are probably shopping in there at the moment I am sweating, I need to take these off so hot actually I basically just came back with four Harley Davidson t-shirts I've got a problem, I've already got three I think but this is always the shop that I find them in as well it's Pop Boutique, I shouldn't be giving away my secrets but I am but they had such a good selection today I struggled choosing, I think I tried on about or had about seven I'm not going to try them on today but you will see them in upcoming videos because I'm not going to stop wearing them King of the Road Harley Davidson and the back is so cool and these are all like legit Harley Davidson t-shirts as well I just think it's so cool, it just looks like a vintage band tee, but I really love the wash and I love that it's all the same tones, it's not like contrasting tones, so I just thought it was very cool. I really wanted like the plain motif ones, so then I got this one because I loved it because it's really monotone and my mum said it was nice also. And all the other ones I have, have like designs on them, like one has a skull, one has like the Canadian like polar bear and some other stuff, and one has another skull. So I was like, okay cool, let me just get the plain ones love this then i also got the classic which i've wanted for so long just that classic print and then another classic one i love this because it's a bit more subtle and it's long sleeve and it says killer creek which is kind of cool this one's a bit smaller and a bit more like tight but i like the way it fits which is very surprising i didn't think i'd like it so yeah i have a problem and that is that on my harley davidson tea collection and it will continue to grow especially when i live in manchester i also saw this jacket and i thought my boyfriend would love it so i picked this up for him this is from a vintage shop called blue rinse how freaking cool is that and it was only 26 pounds <laughs> <laughs> and we got this wet. for Bronson. Look at the face. Wet. <laughs> Sport dog. Hey, thank you, Grandma. Not really sure what we're going to do for the rest of the evening. Food and a film. Yeah, we're shattered. Tomorrow, you better stick around. Tomorrow's going to be a funny one. Yeah. It's going to be a good, good vlog. I'm not saying, I'm not saying what we're doing, but you're going to want to stick around. Morning guys, starting my day off with a matcha today in an all black outfit, delish. Don't mind the uh, headband, I'm just trying to lay my edges. God knows if it's gonna work. I struggle when it comes to straight hair and edges, struggle. But if you are looking for a great headband to work out in, the Alphalete ones are elite. Just painting by nails. It is a much more gloomy and cold day today, isn't it, mum? Maybe not so cold, it was cold when I woke up this morning, but it's super gloomy, much more gloomy today. Today we're going to shoot a little campaign just a quick few stories so I probably won't bring you guys along for that there's nothing exciting to see but I think we're just going to take it slow because tonight we have reservations for a very fun activity I'm kind of shitting myself but it's fine and then we're going for dinner somewhere really nice um, that I wanted to show you guys about I've been once before remember when I told you there was daytime fireworks I hope you guys can hear that why? In time. Yeah, you can barely see them. It doesn't make sense. That's so weird. Um, I've completely forgot what I was saying. Oh, yeah, so I've been to this place that we're going to dinner before. And it's one of the new places that I've discovered here that I really like. You don't look at it and assume it's going to be as amazing as it is and it caters really well to vegan diets as well so yeah i'm very excited to take you along later on today but for now i'm just going to enjoy my matcha take it slow and uh go shoot this campaign cheers i said are we excited <laughs>
all came out. Oh, we've got the best time. I've just got done editing basically everything you've watched up until this point. What a weekend. So nice to see my mum and just have some girl time because obviously I've moved from London to Manchester. I don't really get to see my close girlfriends very often. Not just because I've moved, but you know, we're all adults. We all have our own separate lives. And um, yeah, it's just nice to get in touch with that side of myself again and obviously hang out with my mum who is literally like my inspiration. I love that woman so much. Highlight of the weekend, probably the roller disco. <laughs> it was so fun. Some of you guys, if you know anything about roller skating might be wondering why the hell I've got moxie roller skates, those amazing roller skates. Basically I've been saying for ages that I want to like learn. I used to rollerblade when I was younger and I think I was good at it but I was very young so that might be just me thinking I was sick when I wasn't. Um, but I used to really enjoy it and I've been saying for months and months and months that I really want to learn how to roller skate and learn like the tricks and the moves and get really good at it. So that was like my first time skating on those. I think I did all right. I managed, I was managing to do crossovers by the end of the session. We're only on there for an hour, but I'm thinking maybe it was the cocktails. Maybe I just had a bit of liquid courage, <laughs> but it was just, it felt like my inner child came out and I just felt so free. And it's definitely motivated me to really like get on those skates now and get good at it so that will be coming up in future vlogs and the reason i have those skates is because my boyfriend got them for me as an anniversary gift back at the end of may um and i haven't touched until now and it's september so that tells you how scared i was to just go and have a go um and i also was like where am i going to do it but i think i found somewhere where i'm going to be able to like practice so i'm super excited to share that journey with you guys if any of you guys are skaters let's start a conversation if any of you guys in manchester are skaters even better it'd be cool to have like a little crew to skate with so i'm not doing it on my own or if any of you guys are more experienced i can maybe learn something from you but yeah the, the skating and the dinner that night god damn it was so good update on the moving i think i can't remember if i've told you guys or not i think we may have secured a place we're still waiting for all the checks and stuff to go through and all of that but fingers crossed i will be moving this month finally i'm excited for a fresh start and to not have constant noise go in <laughs> so yeah you can look forward to moving vlogs as well i've got a few exciting things coming up over the next week or so i'm excited to share that with you guys as well going away on a little trip and yeah, I just, I'm excited. I'm excited for life. Summer is over, but autumn is bringing good things and spooky season is just around the corner, so. Oh. Yeah, it was a good weekend. Super wholesome. My heart feels so full and I've got so much to look forward to over the next few weeks. I really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you made it this far, I've got to do this in every one now. If you made it this far, be sure to comment a little roller skate emoji down below. I will see you guys all in my next video. Until next